The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Lawson coal methane explosion possible says sheriff. Refuting naysayers the Assumption Parish Sheriff stated that methane ignition and explosion are possible in the Bayou Corn Sinkhole area. Refuting naysayers about such an explosion and spotlighting grave human rights issues related to the history-making event and environmental nightmare, according to a KLFY Channel 10 three-part special television report aired Friday. The possibility exists that Louisiana's sinkhole-related methane, percolating in over a dozen sites near and miles away from the sinkhole area, could ignite and cause an explosion, according to Assumption Parish Sheriff Michael J. Wagaspak, interviewed about the unprecedented Bayou Corn event unfolding in South Louisiana's swampland. Wagaspak, lover of South Louisiana people and culture, made the statement to KLFY reporter Chuck Hubner about the massive amount of methane known to be trapped below the Assumption Parish sinkhole area surface, continually leaking and bubbling to the surface. If it finds a source, an oil well, a water well, it will basically come to the surface. If that's inside of a shed, or something off the ground and it's captured, it's an ignition source, stated Waggis Peck. Then boom, and you have an explosion, he said. Numerous comments about the impossibility of methane igniting have been posted on Deborah Dupree's Examiner.com article pages about the Bayou Corn sinkhole disaster. This week, methane in tap water of a Napoleonville man's home was reportedly bubbling and flammable, but claimed to be unrelated to methane leaks in the expanding sinkhole area of Napoleonville Salt Dome and not unusual in Louisiana, according to the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality on Wednesday. In early October, the Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals DHH advised the Assumption Parish president that the Bayou Corn sinkhole area had high levels of methane in nearby water wells, posing risks to health, fire and explosion and that residents need to heed the mandatory evacuation order. Locals were not publicly advised about that DHH notice. Only about 150 of the 350 residents under mandatory evacuation have heeded the order, some saying they will be notified in time to leave if the situation is really life-threatening. Crazy, Hubner says in his report, the history of the Assumption Parish sinkhole. What else can you call it when part of your parish is disappearing into the earth? The sinkhole developed after two months of methane bubbling in Bayou Corn and Grand Bayou according to locals and subsequent news reports. The methane bubbles were occurring as thousands of earthquakes were also occurring, according to USGS later reports. In another massive collapse Tuesday after a strong quake six days earlier, the sinkhole grew to the size of seven football fields. Watch each of KLFY's three-part series, The History of the Assumption Parish Sinkhole, here. It's almost like a live animal, every day. Wagus Pack told Hubner. It seems to grow and there's a new issue that develops. Hubner says that for Wagus Pack, the most immediate problem has been the continued mandatory evacuation of some 150 people in the area. The problem is, nobody knows when it will end. Experts are telling John Boudreau, Assumption Parish Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, that this is new science, Hubner says. The experts have never seen anything like this before. Nobody expected anything like this to happen, local businessman Dennis Landry says. Scientists working on the sinkhole really have their hands full, Hubner reports. Although it appears only one of 67 salt caverns has collapsed, it still has created an environmental nightmare that experts are still struggling to get a handle on. The report highlights that one big problem is that the aquifer beneath the dome is now contaminated with natural gas and maybe possibly even oil. Fortunately, the area's drinking water does not come from the aquifer. It comes from Bayou Lafouche, according to the KLFY report out of nearby Lafayette, Louisiana. Unfortunately, according to this new report, Assumption Parish's Bayou Corn Grand Bayou sinkhole problem began with a series of bubbles that began not there but in nearby Bayou La Forge. This means that local sinkhole area people are getting their water from a source known to have methane in it. Until a way can be found to stop the methane, 
Nobody under the mandatory evacuation will be able to return to their home, the report highlights. The experts have never really seen anything like this before, Wagus Payak told Humor. This is really new science, and that's what's taking so long. Wagus Payak says they need to get some 3D seismic done. Approximately 3 million cubic feet of material has gone into this cavern, according to Wagus Payak. He explained that the sinkhole itself only accounts for approximately 550,000 cubic feet of that material. So there is approximately 2. 7 million cubic feet of material that's entered the cavern that's unaccounted for, said Wagus Pack. If and when the voids settle, the volume of the sinkhole could be expected to be six times its current size. They may be pockets and voids, and that might be one reason the sinkhole continues to grow as things settle down, said Wagus Pack. The problem that remains is how to get rid of the natural gas that scientists say believe is still down there, Hubner stated. Four vent wells have been installed. The casing that is about 200 feet down has been perforated to try to get the natural gas vented out, but so far, this has been unsuccessful, according to Agus Pack. The gas is only 100 or 150 feet down, he said. Butane stored in one of the caverns has added concern about an explosion that independent scientists have previously explained as a grave possibility. Butane explosion effects would differ from an H-bomb effects two ways, one it would take much longer and have insignificant radiation damage, two temperatures reached would be lower, so the fireball, thermal radiation, and air blast radii would be smaller, but all three longer lasting. C. Sinkhole H-bomb explosion equivalent in Bayou Corn possible within four months, methane bubbling had been observed at 28 sites, according to some reports, including in Pierre Park, outside the mandatory evacuation zone but within hearing distance of loud booms, seismic activity jolts and foul chemical odors nauseate and burn some residents. Governor Bobby Jindal has not increased the mandatory evacuation zone, despite public outcry from across the nation petitioning him to protect people needing help to flee the catastrophe in the making. To date, Jindal has not publicly visited the sinkhole disaster site. The worst case scenario, I guess, says Wagus Pack, is if this gas in the aquifer comes to the surface and gets under some type of building, facility or structure and the bubbles come up and there's ignition. Last month, Independent physicists reported to Dupree that Assumption Parish's sinkhole methane could have traveled north through waterways or rock fissures and caused the mine and military bunker facility to explode during a meteorite event. That explosion was reportedly felt across three southern states. If there's a blue pill and a red pill, and the blue pill is half the price of the red pill and works just as well, why not pay half price?